Hello to all of my Year 10s, soon to be Year 11s, returning to school in September soon. I've set you a task to do over summer, which is a small drawing on A3, that when we get back will turn into an oil pastel and graphite piece. Throughout this video, you'll see that I've put together how I've done the drawing and just given you a few tips to how to make your drawing life a little bit easier. In the packs that I've sent home, which you should have hopefully received previously, you should have had a letter, and inside that little letter, once you've opened it, you should have found that there was a paper guide and also some paper images, that sort of thing. You're going to need those to do these tasks. This is the image of the guide which I have sent home and I've also emailed out to you as well. And that guide gives you a rough breakdown of everything that I need you to do. It's not too big a task so please don't freak out about this guys. And you'll see hopefully from this video that it can be achieved quite quickly. Please just make sure you give it your best possible shot because I'll need you to have completed these drawings for when you get back. You've got images to draw from, they're all double sided as well, and each one of these natural form images will be the basis for your next sheet after your hexagon sheet. The A3 paper that you can see there on the screen, that's what I want you to draw it from, and then you've just then got to start getting towards then upscaling your A4 image that you're going to look at onto your then A3 piece. I'm just pinching to fold the image there at the side, the, both the image that I'm drawing from, I'm going to put halfway points in. I'm also going to put halfway points on the paper. So when I'm doing that, I can then check off what I'm doing and then compare the shapes and images that are on the main photo to the actual drawing that I create. So if I'm drawing a shell, I'm going to check that I've got bits of the shell in the right place. And by putting those lines halfway and making a bit of a grid, it splits then the image into four. If you do the same on your paper, you can compare where those objects go against the grid, which is a really helpful tool when you're then trying to do the drawing. So it's worth doing a little bit of preparation before you start so you can get things in the right place. Then when you are looking at your photographic image, you'll then be able to tell where each shape should go when you're drawing it. You'll sometimes see me tracing over objects, like I've traced over the shell, I've sometimes traced over the peacock feather, things like that. That's because you've got something called muscle memory. And if you just trace over those shapes on the image before you draw them onto the paper, it makes life an awful lot easier because your brain remembers it for a few seconds in terms of the shape. Yes, you're going to have to slightly upscale things so they're a bit bigger, but by drawing these guidelines on and by continually checking where those shapes go in relation to where they should go on the paper by using that grid it will make life a lot easier. This image here might seem a little bit random because we're not drawing pegs, buttons or licorice all sorts but this is just something which I always use with drawing students and when people are doing drawings to help them get things in the right place. If you look at the image on the screen there you'll see on the right hand side the image that was drawn from and then you'll see the drawing in the top left. If you then compare and draw a little line across from the top of that button going across the peg and then if you look at where those little dotted lines are, you can see that some parts are in the right place, some parts aren't. Now, how is this going to help you with your drawing? Well, when you're drawing out your image on the paper, if you draw little guidelines from the tops of objects, it might be from a peacock feather or a shell, anything like that, and then if you see where that line hits first, you can then draw the same line on your resource image to check to see if that's what it actually does hit at the same time, if that line is actually touching the right object in the right place. And it just helps you to get the perspective and the different parts into the right sequence. Just starting the drawing here now onto the A3 paper. Often when you start off the drawing, it can feel a little bit tricky to get into. And often you find that you're quite slow at the start and a little bit tentative, a little bit unsure about how to go. But you've just got to be patient with yourself and keep checking all the time. Now I've started with that shell shape and I keep going back, going over the lines, quickly just tracing them with my pencil just to make sure to see whether they fit or not. Don't be afraid of rubbing things out. That's why it's essential that you draw lightly. It really is. So once you've got your grid, once you start to draw things out, please draw lightly. Remember that. And the image that you're drawing from fills the whole page. So I'm going to want your drawing to fill the whole page as well. That entire A3 piece, that's what I'm going to want to happen. Not in this video, in the next one, I'll go through how to do the oil pastel and graphite. This video is all about getting that drawing right, that base outline drawing. Don't worry about putting any tone in. Don't worry about putting too much detail in because that will be done with the oil pastel and graphite. But I do need you to come back with your pencil drawing composition fully drawn out so you can make the best possible start in September. If you've got any questions, guys, just send me an email as you normally would and I will get back to you as soon as possible. 
and if you want to know any more about it keep your eyes out there will be more videos coming out that will show you how to do the oil pastel and graphite that will come out in about the next week or so so keep your eyes out for that I hope this video is of some help to you all the best for the rest of the holidays hopefully see you in September all being well thank you guys bye